The Scorpion News is a public forum for student expression. Students make all content decisions, and opinions do not necessarily represent those of the HUSD. Hello fellow Earthlings, I'm your host Esteban Alvarez and we're back with another broadcast. CSF is hosting an Easter egg scavenger hunt. Signups are going to be an S23 to play the lunchtime game Monday, April 15th through the 19th. It's a dollar to play and you get to win prizes. Our profits go towards Scorpion Scholarships. Are you needing to erase an absence in up to five classroom tardies? Do you need to make up work or ex extra credit? Are you looking to spend some quality time with classmates and staff on a beautiful Saturday morning? If so, the upcoming Saturday Academy to see, <laughs> what? If so, go to the upcoming Saturday Academy. To see the schedule and get a permission slip, ask your teacher or go to the student support office. There will be a district college fair on Monday, April 15th from 4 to 7 p.m. held at the district office. This college fair is open to all students and families, and there will be some college admissions advisors as well as military representatives and trade schools. Make sure to go check it out. The HHS Drama Department presents the musical Beauty and the Beast. Performances are this week at Oak Hills beginning April 10th through the 13th at 7 p.m. Each night tickets are only uh, $10. Each night tickets are on sale for $10. Here's an interview with the cast members showing why you should go. Me, me, dude. <laughs> ah, no, it's fun. Um, there's like a. I haven't seen Beauty and the Beast in a long time, it's been, so it's, been it's good to revisit it and be in it. So plus, I get to sing a lot of songs that um, remind me of my childhood. So when I sing the songs, I, I think about Mexico because that's where I saw Beauty and the Beast the first time. So it's, it's the best thing ever. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what it is. Yeah. I don't know. It's just whenever I whenever I see them perform, it just, it just makes me feel like okay, we did this, and we'd like other people to watch this, and you know, I don't. This you know, just come watch it, please. There's a lot of really funny people in and off the show, and the, it's just a really colorful show, and kids really enjoy it. I mean, the the director's kid sits out and watches us, and he dies laughing so if you want to come and enjoy a show and just laugh constantly then you might want to come and see the show man that sure was a lot of drama for my llama i have a i have a llama at home don't miss out on the show so are you interested in joining the esp leadership team next year if you want to be a part of making our school a better place then come get an application from the activities office room a4 here's a video sharing what asb is all about okay hey guys i'm drea and i'm an asb and ASB is a class on campus where you can plan the dances, spirit weeks, pep rallies, and you just like try to get the students involved as much as you can and like make school better. So. Okay, my name is Jocelyn Partida, and one of the benefits of being an ASB is getting the dances in for free, getting to sporting events for free, and also gaining a lot of freshness and being more open with other people. My name is Erin Oliver and ASB applications are out now until April 16th, so you should definitely sign up to join because ASB is going to be awesome next year. What's up, Emmanuel? You guys should join ASB because it's a lot of fun and the memories I've made over the past three years are irreplaceable. Join. Join now! Yeah! If you have any questions about ASB, talk to an ASB student or Mr. Padilla around campus. Link Leadership is also now accepting applications for next year, so if you love being a Scorpion and making a difference at school, Link might be for you. 
We linked up with the Link team to bring you this video. Um, link leadership. Um, link leadership, well, first of all, we, uh, we're like hands-on, we communicate with students, we interact with them. Um, we help them get settled to high school life at the beginning. Like, we link them in, like, that's the name. Um, we host events that make them feel appreciated. Um, the impact we have is that we try our best to, um, to teach people, like freshmen, certain lessons every Wednesday of the month. And I think that some of those lessons are very like beneficial to them and their life. Um, ever since joining Link Leadership, I've gotten more uh, involved within school. Um, it's opened my eyes really to see how many like great things like we can do as like a community here at school. And I just really like being a part of it. Um, if you really want to be a part of the school, you want to get involved, you want to be a part of something great here on campus, Link Leadership is a great way to do that. Alright, so Link Leadership is especially to help with freshmen get involved with the school and like help other students to get involved too. We mostly like do like student like <laughs> If Link Leadership sounds like it's for you, pick up an application in the activities office room A4 or room B2. Applications are due by April 30th. Grand night tickets are also now on sale. So come on and get your permission slip in the student store today. Tickets are only $110 with an ASB card and $120 without. And you must have your completed permission slip at the time of your purchase. If you have received any financial aid or scholarships from the college you plan to attend, please make sure to bring your letters to the, to the CCRC in room A6. The VBC first year experience application deadline is April 20th. So if you are interested in this program, make sure you submit by the deadline. If you have not yet done your VBC ed plan, come to the CCRC to sign up or meet with the VBC counselor. There will be a VBC ambassador in the CCRC every day for the remainder of the school year to help you with any of your VBC questions. The ambassadors will also hold a workshop. Will also hold a workshop after school every Tuesday, which will help you understand Web Advisor and show you how to select your classes. That's going to be it for me. But stay tuned for Brandy McDaniel for your weekly sports coverage. Hey guys, Brandon McDaniel here with another sports update for you. Tuesday, April 9th, Varsity Baseball went against Serrano High School. They lost by a score of 3-1. to one. Also that day, softball went against Sultana and lost 15-5. to five. Both teams are looking to bounce back today. Baseball is having a home game at 315 versus Serrano. And softball is having a home versus Oak Hills at 315. Go get them, guys! This week we are spotlighting sophomore Adam Viramontes. He is a powerlifting athlete and baseball player. Basketball player. Last week we participated in the USA Powerlifting High School Nationals. Federico Martinez caught up with him on what he did to prepare. Check it out. My name is Adam, I'm 15, and I compete in powerlifting in the USAPL circuit. Powerlifting is a combination of squat, bench, and deadlift, and in competition, you get, it's whatever you could push with one rep, so one rep of a squat, one rep of a bench, and one rep of deadlift, and you have three lifts to get as much as you can, so, and with the highest one counts towards your, towards your total. Um, my PE coach, Coach Pace, in the morning, uh, before school, like an hour before school, we would work out together, just like, he would be like doing his bike and I would be benching and I just got into it like 8th grade, like started pushing it real hard. So. I just wanted to become a better athlete and just like improve my like abilities around, like all around. 
on a daily basis, I'm just I'm just hitting every, just trying to target every muscle group, uh, back, legs, chest, arms, everything. To uh, prepare for a competition, I'm just working out every day on a daily basis and just eating as much as I can to get my muscle mass up. Uh, I set 10, well I had 10 California records and I had three national records, so a total of 13. And it's a combination of squat records, bench records, deadlift records, and total records. Thank you, Adam, for taking the time to sit down with us. We wish you the best moving forward. Lastly, the Otaku Club is hosting a Mario Kart tournament. Sign-ups are in Mr. Anderson's class in N26 for $2 per team of two. So come on down to the track for your chance to win big. That's all I have for your weekly sports update and for this week's broadcast. Be sure to check us out on Instagram and YouTube for more content. I'm Brandon McDaniel, signing off.